Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today, and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 Speed build today. And so today I am doing a very special build challenge called the Solid Color Challenge, but a 5x5 five five edition. And honestly, this is probably my favorite one I've done so far because blue is my favorite color, and blue is the color of my office. And so let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite color, and will you be doing this challenge yourself? And if you do, go ahead and send me some pictures on Twitter, link down below. I would love to see them a lot because you know, stuff like this gives me a chance to challenge myself but also try different things and how I can make it all work in the end and overall this was, this was really good but at, when I was doing this the first time I didn't realize it was a five by five until I started counting the squares and I was like okay five by five I can make this work I can challenge myself I can make a well-functioning small home with all the necessities like you know the kitchen the bedroom the bathroom there is no living room because technically you don't really need a living room to live you only need like food and water and the bathroom. That's basically all you really need. So I did not include a TV because that wasn't, there, there weren't any color schemes to fit the blue for the TVs. And there's no computer at all because there's no, well there is, but it just looks very ugly and I didn't want to put it in the build. So yeah, no computer, no television. You're in a technology free zone house. So you have that technology free SIM off the grid SIM, then this house is perfect for you. You will love it, and it's up on the gallery right now for you guys to download. So, it was a kind of, a, it was a struggle. It was a struggle for sure when coming up how I was going to decorate the house. Because if you don't know me, I really love decorating my houses to make them more look lived in, but also personalized and very unique. But I could not do that with this build. I mean, I could have tried, but it was just very hard for me to do. But I think I made it work. I think I made it work on the inside and the outside. I had to use some wacky pictures, but I chose the appropriate ones that were gonna make it work. Like I used the cats and dogs calendar. Um, I think this was like that painting over there was City Living, I believe. I used that painting. And the, I don't know, the little counters for the base game look so good. I don't know why, but they look really good with the color blue, with the blue wallpaper. It just makes sense and it looks so good. And I adore blue so much. Like if blue was my middle name, which, which it, if, it, if it was, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't, I would like it, but I'm like, I don't think blue would be my middle name if it was, but it isn't. Whatever. But still, blue is just blue. Like, you know, blue's clues. Hello. Right? Blue. So when I found out that blue wasn't a boy, I literally was like, hold up. Wait, what? Hold up. You said what now? Um, Because I looked it up because I did a blue's clues build and I built his house in The Sims 4 a couple months ago. And when I found out he wasn't a, a boy, I'm like, oh, that's weird. I thought he was a boy and Magenta was a girl. That was just weird because so blue is a girl, Magenta is a boy. And the whole entire time, I'm not even kidding, the whole entire time in the show, um, Steve kept on calling Blue her and I never really realized that until like now and like later in my life because I used to watch the show when I was little. I did not know that at all because I, I didn't really... I didn't really see gender or I just didn't really see like color or whatever. It just didn't make sense to me at the time. And so now that I know like, okay, okay, that makes sense. Not really, but then it kind of does. Cause blue, it like when, it, when all of us were like really, really young, blue was like a stereotype for only boys and not girls. And pink was for girls and blue for, for boys. But I'm like, no, that's not right. That's not right. And blue can be for anyone, pink can be for anyone. So yeah, now that I know, I'm like, okay, that's cool. But back then, I did not know a darn thing because I was only two years old, couldn't speak, couldn't walk. Well, could I walk? I don't know. I just couldn't talk properly. I was a child, so I, I didn't know any different. But you know, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. So do you guys actually like Blue's Clues? For me, I love Blue's Clues a lot, and Blue's Clues was the show that really made me happy. It made me like a little small little detective, search for clues, solve clues, find new people, find old friends, and meet new people around, you know? the world of cartoons and it made me happy but what I found out so you would know if you don't watch the show if you didn't watch the show you wouldn't know that Steve left and his cousin I guess or brother I think it was a cousin named Joe came along in later in the season of Blue's Clues and when I found out like oh what happened to Steve where did, where did he go people thought he was like he people thought he was dead but no he disappeared and didn't really kind of 
wasn't in the spotlight, but he looks completely, I am not even kidding, he looks completely different from what he looks in the show, because he's bald and older, doesn't wear like, that green striped shirt anymore. He just seems a lot different. His voice is a little bit lower. It just seems a little bit weird, but it's fine. It's fine. I, I won't judge him because he, he, he had a good run. He had a good run, and so did Joe. And overall, Blue's Clues was the ish of my lifetime. Yes, like Dora, Powerpuff Girls, all those shows. All the 90s shows that I love and still love to this day, I still watch because they're so good, so memorable, and just, just, a, just, a, just a, they're a very good child show that I will always love no matter what. So yeah, anyway, like I, I just love it. I just love it. And so for this house, back to the build, like you know, I, I jump around a lot. I'm not even kidding, a lot in all my videos. But for this house, I didn't really realize, at first it was gonna be like a large house that was gonna be all blue, that didn't happen. But I do have a, like a large blue build coming soon that I started doing this before this one. So that one's coming next, in the next couple of days or so. Not really sure when, but I will figure it out. But when I did the landscaping for this build, I didn't really anticipate it for the for this to be this small. And I was gonna move it to a different lot, but then I thought, you know, if someone has a Brindlin Bay or like a large 30 by 20 lot or whatever, they could place this house on that lot and use it as like a runaway teen or a runaway homeless person, whatever type of house that's been here for a couple years, has been abandoned and hasn't really been well kept. And so I really think that this house on like a large lot would make really sense for some people who don't really have enough money for their Sims and just wanna have like a small little house that doesn't cost too much, that's very little on the inside, has the basic necessities and they could live here. And so that was basically my plan as I got towards the landscaping of this build. And it worked out really, really great. So hopefully you guys want to download this house. And if you do renovate it to, be, to make it a bigger house, I would love to see your renovations of this house if you do it. And if you do this challenge, again, I would love to see your, your builds and your sims. Ooh, this should be a solid color sim challenge. Ooh, that's be a, ooh that would be a cool idea. I'm doing that. I'm doing that, the solid color sim, you know. Forget this. I'm doing. I'm for. I'm doing this and the, the Sim challenge because that's that just sounds kind of cool. Because I mean, we have some colors in the Sims Create a Sim, like the brown, the white, the blue, the green, and the gray, and that's all basically all we have. And you know, I could do some manipulations with that stuff. I can download some more custom content for some solid colors. Make it like the you know the rainbow theme or My Little Pony. I don't know. Just a lot of ideas could go into the solid color challenge. Whether it's like a build or a sim or a pet, whatever it is, it can do so many different things with the challenge and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, I don't know. This is gonna be a lot of fun trying to make different type of builds and different type of houses with a certain color or a room. And if you guys want me to do this again, let me know in the comments below what color should I do next and what type of style of room or house should I do for that color and let me know as always, but you know. It gonna be real good, gonna be great, but I'm gonna wrap this video up right here or this voiceover, as I usually do. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, them, let me know what you think down in the comments below, as always, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!